So tell us about the captain and, uh, and just sort of what he thinks of Christian. Well, uh, the captain, uh, Captain Cross, Emil Cross, um, has known Christian for a long time. I think they go way back. And uh, I think it's right to say that uh, Captain Cross persuaded Christian to join the powers division. Um, he could see that having somebody who had been a power and no longer had that power would have particular insight. So uh, he persuaded him to join the, the newly formed powers division, um, which is a very sort of, uh, it's very low down on the totem pole when we, when we start the series. It's very sort of underfunded. It's a bit of a laughing stock. They're not seen as being particularly effective. Um, and uh, that possibly changes as the season goes on. Um, but I think they have a slightly combative relationship. Um, but I think Emile is very aware of how uniquely useful Christian is to the department. Of all the powers that you've seen so far, which one intrigues you the most personally? Um, well, they're all pretty cool. Um, it's like playing with the cool kids. <laughs> um, um, I think Wolf, he's so mysterious and he's so dark and his powers are so strong that I think he's the most intriguing for me. Um, I think I think it's hysterical, and I love the fact that some of the powers come in and they're sort of wannabe powers and they behave terribly and don't really know what to do with their powers. I really like all of that, but there's something really s sort of dark and deep about Wolf that is very intriguing. So, yeah. what is Cross's relationship like with Dina? How how far do they go back? Well, I think Emil knew Dina's dad, Waldo Pilgrim. And uh, he was, although not in the powers division, Waldo was in the same police force. So uh, I think he's probably known of Dina since she was a kid. And uh, I think, again, one of Emile's traits is that he can spot talent, and particular talents. And I think he's spotted her. He knows she's a bit of a rebel. And he's brought her into the, uh, again, into the powers division and pairing her up with Christian. She's, she's really skilled, really professional. Christian is brilliant, but he's not always the most professional. So putting them together, I think, to him seemed like a really good idea. Did you, oh, did you read the comics in your preparation for the role? I didn't. I, I knew nothing about them at all. I'd never even seen a graphic novel. But um, as soon as I heard about this, I, I went and found uh, the, the first, certainly the first one that this is based on. And, uh, and immediately I looked at them, I got why, why they're so popular. Um, there's just something, I mean, I, I don't have to explain what it is, but there's just something about seeing, seeing the pictures, seeing the way they're set out, seeing the drama that's almost like watching a really cool movie. It, it really grabs you in a very different kind of way. So uh, I, I kind of really got it as soon as I started looking at them. But no, I didn't know anything about, about powers or... Uh, and then suddenly this whole world opened up. Um, and, and all sorts of people in your life, you know, uh, randomly from all over the place, suddenly kind of out themselves as Powers fans and graphic novel fans, which is kind of cool.